Hey, 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 everybody, it's Matthew Reinhardt. It's the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. Today, we're going to do the Lighthouse of Alexandria. Oh, man, I wish I had gone to Alexandria. It was supposedly, oh, it's a great place for books. Um, this whole project is all about the ancient wonders of the world, and it makes a gigantic pop-up poster. It's really, really cool. Anyways, let's get started. Let's get started making, well, let's learn a little bit about um, the Lighthouse of Alexandria. How about that? Now, the Lighthouse of Alexandria was built under the reign of Ptolemy II, Philadelphus. Now, this giant lighthouse um, guided ships into the harbor of Alexandria, and they, it is said that the structure stood at least 330 feet tall, and at the top there was a light, and you could see it for miles. But unfortunately, earthquakes came along, and it, even though it was damaged by multiple earthquakes, the structure lasted they, they say about you know 15 to 1600 years. So um, some of it stood until the year 1480. And boy, was it a wonder when it was still there. So let's get started making our own pop-up lighthouse of Alexandria. Now what do we do? We download the templates and you can see there's a link down below. You click on that link, download the templates onto your computer, and then you print them out. And you can print them out onto cardstock. I would suggest using cardstock um, any color you want. If you want to use white, you want to use blah, 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 whatever you want to do. So you're going to see there's many pages. First, we're going to score all of the dotted black lines. You can see that there's two types of dot black lines. There's solid ones, there's dotted ones. We're going to get those dotted lines. And we're going to do scoring. What, what scoring does, we're going to use a paper clip and a ruler. And we'd like rub the edge of that, that paper clip along all those dotted lines. And what that does is it makes it easier to fold because pop-ups are just really, they're, 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 they're a lot of paper pieces, but they also, we need those folds because the folds help move things. They're hinges that help move the engines of the pop-up, all right? So we're gonna, we're gonna pre-fold everything by making these, um, making these score lines and making all of the, the you know, making it easier for the paper to fold. Now, once we've done all the scoring of all those dotted lines, what do we do next? Hmm, what do we do? We got scissors we're gonna use the scissors and we're gonna cut out all the pieces following what what do we follow those solid black lines so just take your time get a nice pair of scissors and follow along along all those dotted lines or excuse me, oh did I say dotted lines uh-uh along all those solid black lines follow along those lines gosh sometimes I'm not paying attention sorry about that everyone but um, follow along the, solid, the the solid black lines and you can um, cut out all these pieces. And you're gonna see there's several pages of it, so take your time. Sometimes what you can do is, you, instead of moving your scissors to, to go different directions, move your paper in different directions. So hold your scissors in one position and then you can kind of rotate the paper and it's so much easier to cut. So you do that. By the way, these are not my beautiful fingernails that are painted. This, these are um, Kirsten, she's my friend, she helps me out. Sometimes she's the hands and I'm the big old mouth. I keep talking and um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna guide you through making this really cool Alexandria lighthouse pop-up. Okay, we've got all the pieces cut. Now, I'm gonna pause right here. Um, hey, why don't you just stop it? The big old stop sign. Right here is where you could start decorating all the pieces. You can color them, you can use markers, you can use crayons, you can use all kinds of other stuff to decorate these pieces. Now, you're not gonna see um, us actually doing that here because I don't, I don't wanna tell you how to decorate your Alexandria Lighthouse, but you can use colored pencils, crayons, markers, whatever you like to color the pieces, and then you can start assembling. Now, my advice to you also, don't color on the little tabs. You're gonna see tabs where there are letters. Don't color on those because it's gonna be harder for you to glue the pieces together. Now, before we start assembling, actually, we're going to pre-fold everything. Now, I said earlier that, that scoring the line makes it easier to fold, so watch. It's so much easier, so we're going to fold this piece right here, down the middle, and we're just pre-folding it so that the paper knows which way to go. We're going to pull, fold this center piece here, just like this, and just like this, and this. These little tabs go backwards. Look at that. And like I said earlier, if you want to decorate this, um, be sure not to glue on those tabs where there are letters. You see where those little, don't glue there, but you can glue on the larger part of the piece, or, or excuse me, you can, you can decorate on the larger part of the piece. Sometimes I get my words mixed up, so we did that piece there, that's pre-folded. Now let's fold, this is the outer wall of the library. Can you imagine how many books were in this library? There were millions of books, and um, 
when the building was destroyed, many of the books have been stolen. But you know what's amazing in Alexandria now? There is a new um, library that is there that was built um, about 20 years ago. All right, let's use some glue. We're just going to use regular craft glue, and we're going to start assembling. So this piece here, we're going to add in the top part of the lighthouse right here. See these two tabs, A and B? So we're going to glue them on, and let's use our glue. And we're going to just add glue within this little gray area, just right there. And we're going to add some in in that area. There we go. And what we're going to do, watch this. We're going to fold them like that and that. And one goes there. And the other goes right there. And you're going to make sure that, that's, that the fold on the top part of the piece is aligned with the bottom part of the piece. See how that, that goes? That's just a layer that's glued on there. Make sure that it's glued down really well. Now we're going to glue these two tabs in place. See these two? They go right there, C and D. So we're going to put some glue. In the glue, the glue area, there's a gray sort of shape, and it follows exactly what the tab is. It's, it's almost like, you know, you know exactly where to put that. That's exactly where it needs to glue down, there and there. We're just going to glue one here. See? See, we're lining it up, we're pulling it up, and then we're going to push it down. So we know exactly where it lines up. There's one side. Oops. Sometimes I pull stuff up. I make mistakes. Oh, by the way, if you make a little mistake and you need to pull something up, don't worry about it. So I'm serious. Like, my entire life has been a mistake. <laughs> a good mistake. But we make them and we find out new things. So don't worry about it if you make a little mistake here and there, okay? All right, we're going to glue these big tabs down. Matthew Reinhardt is giving you life lessons along the way as we're building this cool pop. So um, here we go. Here are the, the other two tabs. We're going to glue them into place. I think that's tab E and F. Glue them down onto the base page just like that. And you can see, like I said, that tab glues and fits right into, you can follow the, the shape for that, that glue space, that gray glue space. So I'm just going to press those tabs down. Now make sure that your glue dries. Okay, now we're rushing through it a little bit, but you may want to let it dry just a little bit quick, a little, a little bit longer. And then we're going to glue this in the back. That's tab G, and it's going to glue to itself. That piece is going to glue to itself just on the other side, and that's going to be the outer wall of our, our lighthouse. I keep talking about the Library of Alexandria, but we're building the lighthouse. Um, but, but the lighthouse was there to guide people to the library because Alexandria used to be such, a, and still is, um, st such a place for the ancient world. People would go there to learn, and there was so much culture and everything. So this lighthouse, it was the beacon um, for, for travelers to come to the amazing city of Alexandria. Okay, so let's put this cover on. This is the cover. I'm, st I'm talking so much about other stuff, and I'm not talking about buildings. So we're going to glue on the cover just like this. Look at, we're gonna glue it all around like that. So we're, we're just putting glue on the front of our, of our pop-up card. Now remember, you can decorate um, this however you like. You can decorate the front cover. Um, you can add text to it. Um, we're just gluing this on so that it fits on our map and that we have a nice cover to our pop-up. So that's gonna be, and see the artwork on there, that kind of gives you a guide, that's gonna, align with the rest of the map. Okay, so there's our pop inside. And you can write a story inside. You can add the little fact sheet. You can do whatever you want. We're gonna glue this onto this larger sheet. This is a portion of the giant poster we'll be making. So see it glues right there. Let's get some more of that glue and glue it in place. Now you can use a glue stick if you like. Um, I, I find that glue sticks don't work as well as like regular craft glue, like Elmer's glue or something like that. I know Elmer's is probably happy every time I say that, but I really love um, white craft glue like like Elmer's or the color, uh, the colorful craft glue as well works. But when, when it's a little bit more of a liquid like this, it works better. We can spread it a lot better. So we're gonna put this piece right in place. And you can see it kind of lines up just like that and press it down and remember again let it dry and you're gonna keep this pop-up 
and for when we assemble all seven of the other ancient wonders of the world. Look at that. We did it. We made the lighthouse of Alexandria. Look at it. So we're going to visit all of these different ancient wonders in pop-up form over the next few, few weeks. So keep checking in so we can build more of this giant poster. Hey, it's Matthew Reinhardt again. And sometimes I get confused, but thank you for joining me and making this Lighthouse of Alexandria pop for our learning unit about the seven ancient wonders of the world. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And if you want to see more, give me some ideas in the comments below. Um, I thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you come to check out more and build this giant cool pop-up. Bye, everyone. See you next time.